this tutorial is about tracking balances and setting conditional formatting here we have created two cells one is cash balance and second one is bank balance i want to get any time the status about the cash and about the bank simply you can link this cell i'm going to write as equals and go to balance sheet this is cash press enter and here as equals balance sheet this is bank balance now whenever you will be passed an entry over here suppose i am going to change this from 250 to 245 you can see the balance is affected in cash i am going to undo this the balance will be updated on each entry when the cash is affected the balance of bank will affected on each entry when the bank is affected but this is not fair because if i want to change the position or i am going to sort this from these to other places in other position the balance is still tracking from d8 so this is not good we have to write a vlookup function over here so that whether the cash is at any position the balance should be traced from cash balance so just write as equals we look up then we look up value is this then comma and go to balance sheet and select this table and press f4 to freeze this then comma what is next column index number 1 2 3 column index number 3 then 0 okay you can see over here nothing is displaying because of difference in spells so press f2 and remove this balance just keep cash okay you can see over here and same control c and control v formula is passed we have to change the location from g2 to G three to G, sorry G two to G three. Okay, and same do with this. You can see over here. This is dynamically generated and retrieving the balance from balance sheet. Whether I write the cash over here. Suppose I am going to write the cash over here, and it is retrieved data, and and getting the value dynamically you can see over here undo control s and i want to set some conditions over here suppose if the cash balance is going in negative then highlight this cell with red cell and same with the bank balance so just select these two cells and go to conditional formatting highlight less than if the value is less than less than 1 less than 0 then highlight with this red fill okay and if the value is greater than greater than 0 then highlight this with green okay you can see the balance is in the balance is shown in, in with green field now i am going to credit the balance suppose i am going to increase another zero over here you can see here the balance is in negative the effect shown in negative i am going to undo this same we can do with bank suppose the bank is created over here i am going to increase another zero over here you can see the bank balance is 120 and negative that this is affected i'm going to undo this okay so our conditional formatting and tracking balance lesson ends over here